Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. Let's talk about the unit circle. I think it'd be fun to fill out a blank one and explain all the details. If you want to try it on your own, pause it right now because I'm going to do it in three, two, one. For this first degrees box, we're going to connect the positive x axis and this line going through the box. This is 30 degrees. And we'll do the same thing for the next box. That's going to be 45 degrees. And the next one is 60 degrees. And then we have 90 degrees. And we're going to keep doing this all the way around the entire circle. We have 120, 135, 150, 180, 210, 225, 240, and 270. And then 300, 315, 330. And then the whole thing would be 360. This doesn't really have a spot for 360, but it does have a spot for zero degrees. Some unit circles will have a spot for you to put 360 as well. So that's how we fill in this first box of degrees. They're showing the angle made with the positive x-axis. Next, we have all of these boxes. They represent the radian measures. Let's draw this radius and let's put it along the circumference. And if we put another radius along the circumference and then another one, this is three radians. And if we want to go all the way to the end here, to the 180 degrees, we're going to have to add in approximately 0.14 radians. And this is approximately 3.14 radians or exactly pi radians. That is what this outer set of boxes represents. It's the number of times that a radius would go around the circle to get there. Since this whole distance is pi, half of it is going to be pi over 2. And if we do a whole pi here and then another half pi here, this becomes 3 pi over 2. It's one and a half pies. And then all the way around the circle would be two pi. And once again, there's no spot for the two pies, so we'll put in zero. Now to get the rest of these, I wanna show you a cool pattern. Let's split it all up into eighths. Each of these eighths represents pi over four radians. So this first one is gonna be zero. This next one would be pi over four. And this one is gonna be two pi over four, but that simplifies into pi over two. And then we have three pi over four, four pi over four, 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4, and then 8 pi over 4. And the 4 pi over 4 simplified to pi, and the 6 pi over 4 simplified to 3 pi over 2. And that's where these ones come from. And then we can split it up again into sixths. Each of these sixths represents pi over 3. So we have the 0 here, and then we have pi over 3 here, and then this one's going to be 2 pi over 3, and this one will be 3 pi over 3 and three pi over three simplifies to pi. Then we have four pi over three, five pi over three, and then six pi over three, which is two pi. And then next, let's split the circle up into twelfths. Each of these twelfths is pi over six. So this first one will be pi over six, two pi over six, three pi over six, four pi over six, five pi over six, six pi over six, seven pi over six, eight pi over six, nine pi over six, 10 pi over 6, 11 pi over 6, and then 12 pi over 6, and we'll call that 0. So a lot of these sixths were already simplified. And now we filled out all of these boxes. Next is to fill out the coordinates on the outside. Let's do these ones first. This is called the unit circle. What they mean by unit circle is the radius is equal to 1. So this point right here is 1 comma 0, because we're moving to the right 1 and up none. And then this next point is going to be 0, 1, because we're just moving up 1. And this one is negative 1, 0. And this one is 0, negative 1. We're just plotting where these four points are located on a coordinate grid. And now let's talk about the rest of these. Let's draw this angle again, and let's make it a right triangle. Since this is 30 degrees, this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And let's use the notes for a 30, 60, 90 triangle. We want this side to be 1. So in order for that to happen, this side will be 1 half and this side will be root three over two. And now we can plot this point. The x distance is root three over two, and the y distance is one half. And then we can do the same thing with the 30, 60, 90 triangle over here. The x distance is gonna be negative root three over two, because we're going to the left, and the y distance is gonna be positive one half. And then if we have a 30, 60, 90 down here, the x distance is gonna be negative root three over two, and the y is gonna be negative one half. And then for this one, the x is gonna be root three over two, and the y is going to be negative one half. So these four coordinate points are based on a 30, 60, 90 triangle with a reference angle equal to 30. The reference angle is the name we have for this central angle. Next, let's go through the 45. And if we make this side equal to one, it ends up being one root two over two and root two over two. And let's streamline this. Let's bring in all the 45, 45, 90 triangles and let's focus on these points. This first one will have an x of root two over two and a y of root two over two. 
And then for this one, since we're going backwards, it's going to be negative root 2 over 2, comma, positive root 2 over 2. This one down here will be negative root 2 over 2, negative root 2 over 2. And this one will be positive root 2 over 2, negative root 2 over 2. And now we just have these four points. Those are going to be based off of another 30, 60, 90 triangle, but the reference angle is going to be 60 degrees. Let's copy all those down and let's focus on these four points. The x here is going to be 1 half and the height is going to be root 3 over 2. And same thing for the other ones. The x's will all be 1 half, some of them negative, some of them positive. And the y's will all be root 3 over 2, some of them negative, some of them positive. And that's our unit circle all filled out. Actually, let's move these up. Let's give this a spot for 360 degrees and 2 pi radians. So this is a good looking unit circle. That's everything you should need. How exciting.